How's it going on guys? I'm Satya Diagnostic World. Right now I'm going to show you the Launch VIII or CRP129 as it's also known. Uh, it's a multi-system diagnostic scan tool, um, multi-vehicle as well I will add. Um, it will cover the main systems which are engine, ABS, airbags, SRS and transmission systems. Um, and as you can see it's a nice handheld, easy to use bit of kit here. Um, it comes, just run through the, uh, the box contents and tell you what it'll do. That's uh, just a short video to just tell you that information really. Um, so the, uh, the version that we have here, make sure if you are getting it, it has a serial number on. Um, this box has a serial number right there. Uh, it doesn't have any other serial numbers. However, on the unit, you will have a serial number on the back there, which should match the serial number on the box. Um, so first of all, there are a lot of fakes on the market. Make sure you have a product with a serial number and make sure you register the product on the official website. Information on how to do that is given in this leaflet here. Comes with all information on how to actually uh, use the kit and how to actually uh, register and update the kit. Now with regards to updates, updates generally come through once every three months or so. Um, the updates are they're there to uh, get rid of any negative or faults or any problems within the system. Uh, you, might, you might have found that if you previously tried to diagnose a fault, um, it comes up with a box saying uh, communication error or something like that. That basically means that the, uh, the scan tool itself has not been uh, equipped to deal with that particular system. So um, launch the, uh, the company who own these tools. Uh, they will go away, do their homework, find the vehicles, find out what the problem is, correct the problem, adjust the software, send through an update direct to the unit, and that will then now work on the system which previously did not. Um, updating it, all you really need to do, if you have a look in here, there's a little SD card, micro SD card, small as we can, you probably can't even see that. Um, and what happens is you get your little dongle here, you put your SD card in there like that and then this is what actually goes into the side of your laptop or uh, desktop PC. The updates files are transferred directly from the internet to this SD card. Once the updates are completed, you put your SD card back in the unit. and your updated software is ready to go. Um, this cable here runs direct from the, uh, the scan tool itself into the 16 pin diagnostic port in the vehicle. Um, as I say, it's multi-system, it's multi-vehicle as well, so it will diagnose a lot of vehicles, most vehicles on the road today in fact, um, with the exception of probably the supercars, so you've got Ferrari, Aston Martin, uh, Bugatti, anything else? No, it'll do Porsche. We don't cast that as a supercar unless it's a 918 Spider. Um, so, yeah, on the back, basically it states that it will. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, one, a couple of things I forgot to mention. As well as it clearing um, ABS, engine, SRS, airbags, and transmission faults and warning lights, it will also reset oil service lights. Uh, so every year or every um, interval when the, uh, the light comes on, say the service due, you can reset that. And also it will reset the, um, the electronic brake pads. Um, steer, it will also do steering angle sensor calibration. Um, a few other things as well. A few other things probably not worth noting. But, um, what, it, what, I, what I tell you about the, uh, the, the codes that it can actually find, it can find generic fault codes, um, so basically the same fault codes that you would be able to find with um, a, a cheaper scan tool. Um, you can buy scan tools for probably about £30 which will give you simply just a fault code and nothing else. Um, it'll find those faults, and I'm reading from the back of uh, this information here, with these uh, generic fault codes, so that's codes which start in P0, P2, P3 and U0 codes. And I'll also find manufacturer specific fault codes which start in P1, P3, U1. Um, and it'll 
give you permanent and tendon coat as well. Um, so yeah, it's, I mean, we've used this tool now for around about one year. Um, it's never let us down. We've tried it on BMWs, Mercedes, Porsche, Audis, VWs, Nissans, Fords, Jaguars, you name it. It works. It's a good tool. Um, it's not dealer level by any stretch of the means because it doesn't do any cooling, it doesn't do any uh, actuator tests. Uh, we'll give you live data. It gives you live data stream. You can also get a bit of data graphing on here as well, uh, which is quite handy if you know what you're doing with it. Um, if you don't know, it's very interesting to see how your vehicle is um, uh, sort of reacting or coping with the, uh, the demands of the road or just what it's at idle. Um, see how, see if you've got a fault in any systems, it'll do O2 sensor tests, so you can test your O2 sensors and tell you which O2 sensor is at fault if there are any at fault. Um, it's an all round good solid tool for any, probably say mobile mechanic, home DIY, um, I wouldn't say that, yeah, sort of garage or workshop, but if, you know, it would be a welcome addition to a garage or workshop as well as your other tools. Perhaps uh, the Corker C68, which we've also made a video on, or quite a few videos on. Um, now, if you want to see this in action, we do have lots of videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, so please just search for uh, VIII um, on our YouTube channel, and you'll see lots of um, videos that we diagnose uh, faults on with this. We always make videos of all the cars that we're diagnosing, so um, that's what you'll find. Uh, alternatively, you can uh, visit the website, just click the link. Uh, sorry, Visit the website there, or click the link directly below this video to go to the item on our website. And on the listing on the website, you will find um, a lot of other videos as well where you can uh, see what we've been up to with this diagnostic tool. Um, I think that's about it. As I say, click the link below the video. Um, it was just really a run through of uh, what you get in the box, uh, where you can get it, what it will do, what it will do, things like that. Um, so I hope this video helps. Uh, thanks very much for watching.